guys, Shrimp Steve 11 here, and I'm here on Minecraft. So this episode is a bit different. As you know, the Minecraft update came out for all consoles, and uh, you know, Nixon and Ashton. And I just thought I go, I just thought I just thought I go through the update with you guys. So first of all, the first thing I want to go through is the new skin pack that's out, the Minecon 2015 skin pack. As you can see, you have the 2011 cape, which has the, you know, creeper, the 2012 cape, which has the pickaxe. 2013 cape which has the piston, 2015 cape which has the golem and you have the Alex variants of the exact same things. Personally my favourite is 2012 just because I like to build and that kind of six wise a builder a little bit I guess. Uh, let's go through what's new. So they added oak wood fence, spruce wood fence, birch wood fence, jungle wood fence, uh, they added oak wood fence gate, spruce wood fence gate, birch wood fence gate, jungle wood fence gate. They added an oak wood door, spruce wood door, birch wood, jungle wood. Uh, they added an iron, um, sorry, they added iron trap door, an inverted daylight sensor, if you don't know what that is, and yeah. A uh, book and quill and stained glass. Added custom super flat user interface allowing players to customize super flat world generation. To, world generation, oh my god, my voice is messed up there. Uh, added new in game options to allow changing game mode, difficulty setting, time of day, and spawn position per player and disable or enable ambient cave sounds and weather settings. S you split load slash join interface into create slash load slash join. Added classic crafting options so you can now craft the same way as on the Java version if you really want to. This option is available in the UI settings menu. If you don't know what that is, you go to settings, you go to user interface, and classic crafting. I have it on because I like it. Uh, it should be off default, but you can put it on. So there you go. Is there something else added? I'm not too sure. I think there's something else added in like this. Whatever. Uh, so let's go to play game. I'll show you how to. Okay, so let's go into create. Well, see, I have a world ready for this update. Let's create world. Let's. We'll just leave it new world. Uh, more options. Leave the seed. We're going to super flat. Customize super flat. As you can see, we have like different biomes. We have the plains. Um, where is that? We have the desert, we have the forest, jungle, swampland, stream hills, ocean, frozen ocean, ice flats, taiga, mushroom island, nether, and the end. What this does, it makes us so that, like, so say now, we the end and the nether. End, it'll put the end in the overworld, but you'll still have the actual end. It'll put the nether in the overworld, and you'll still have the nether. Yeah, do you get it? Uh, everything is still super flat, it's just this different ways, like, a hot biome with no rainfall, with little vegetation, other than cacti. Properties, you can have villages, abandoned mine shafts, this is only like chance, as you can see, you only have at max a 1% chance, which is ridiculous, I think. Strongholds, you can have up to 3, a biome, specific, specific, a structure that varies according to the biome. These are temples and jungles, pyramids and deserts, and witch huts and swamps. Uh, the expected number of blocks between neighboring structures, that's what spacing is. You can add jungle, dungeons, decorations, lakes, and lava lakes, and all that stuffs. And as you can see here, we'll say you can add, like, I don't know, we go with lava. You can add, like, the entire world to lava or something. I don't know. Have you uh, see the, um, the. Anything that touches it. It's bulker. Uh, you know, you have lava. But you can have presets if you press triangle, which is Y on Xbox. Uh, you can have classic flat, which is just a regular. You can have ton of those dream. Obviously, you can change all this, by the way. Water world, overworld. Overworld. Didn't hear that. Wow, I haven't gone on to this one. Wow. A zero point. That's not correct. Anyway. Um, we're going to have Snowy Kingdom, Desert, Redstone Ready. For the update world I'm on, I'm using Redstone Ready. So let's go into that really quick. And yeah, so we're going to create it. I'll go through everything on there. Belongs to another user. What? Uh. As you can see, I thought there was like way more stuff in the game, but whatever. I didn't add daylight sensors. See, there's a daylight sensor. You can turn it off now. Okay, so that's one that I've already got through. Let's start at the very bottom here. As you can see, I'm using restaurant ready. It spawns in pyramids and all that. Pretty cool. 
Uh, okay, start with all the new fences. So we have spruce, birch, jungle, nether, and oak fence. Th this is every single fence in the game. I'll show you what they all look like. There you go. So, so that's every fence in the game. You can pick which one you like best right now. Personally, I like the oak, just for buildings. I'll get rid of these. Now these are all the new doors. Go through each one again, obviously. So th this is every single door in the game. Personally, my favorite is spruce. I love spruce. Second, uh, I I don't I don't really like these two at all. <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't think they're good. There's a hardened clay has been added. Uh, you know, stained clay has been added. I don't know if it's just been added or what. But I'll show you all this. There you go, so these are all the hardened clay, it's like a rainbow right here. So this is actual hardened clay, this is just hardened clay, this is red stained, orange, yellow, green, you know, so on and so on. So this is the like hardened one. So let's get rid of that. Okay. Sponge has been added, uh, I don't know why, it doesn't do anything. I just thought I'd include it. Sponges. I think that was added up. We have new glasses, yeah we have new glasses. We got stained glass in that one, it's pretty cool, it's really good for building designs, I love it a lot. My favourite is white stained glass, black stain would be pretty cool if you were doing like a modern role play, you could have like, uh, have like bulletproof glass, looks pretty cool. This is my favourite, the white stained, uh, black stain is probably my favourite, or my second favourite, sorry. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next, uh, we have glass panes, which is like the exact same thing, it's just a like glass paint for. Get going on to that. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. So that's all the glass pane. Uh, yeah, that's all the glass pane. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I think the glass pane looks way better than glass. It's just that I use glass for. I mostly use glass. Yeah, now this is every pressure paint in the game. These two have been the new ones. I'm not too sure what they do. So you can step on that one. So you can step on every single one of them. I don't know if they act the exact same as a stone one or what. Let me try. Yeah, I don't really know what the difference is because it activates them. It's the exact same as the wooden one. See? I don't know. I have to figure that out sometime. Now this is the book and quill. I I wrote little things for you guys. So see book and quill. You can like write, let's say, uh, random, random text, and then we sign it. We'll just we can call it five six seven eight nine zero. Uh, there we go. And I'll sign and close, and as you can see, we have that saved. We can open it up, and I'll have that. Now, this, I, I prepared this. Wow, these book and quills are great, huh? I mean, they're good for role plays, reminders, adventure maps, and much more. And I really do mean that. I call it uh, Book and Quills by High Grizzles. Me, of course. Uh, yeah. Oopsies. I like having everything neat. Okay. Now, this is every trapdoor in the game. They added iron trapdoor, which just makes it so that... Oh yeah, stupid Sean. Just makes it so that it's harder to break and also has to be activated by a redstone. So look, I can't open this, I can't open this. Okay, now this is the all the fences. God damn it, okay. Bam, bam. Okay, so you can pick which one you like best right here. Personally, Oakwood again. Uh, oops, these. Uh, yeah, that's actually everything. Yeah, I, like I was expecting way way more stuff guys. I really was But I'm guessing this is it really. I mean, I don't see anything else that was new that is new I don't know you guys can tell me down in oh geez. Okay, what the hell? Whoa, okay, okay, there we go. I don't know what happened there my controller messed up But yeah, I think that's everything that was added
How is this heavy if it does the exact same thing? I don't know. But, wait, I think, dro I'm not too sure. I think droppers were added and comparator. Uh, I haven't ever heard of these. Like, I've heard of the dropper. The comparator, I don't know how to work it. Like, what does it do? I don't know. And then the dropper, you know, it just drops stuff. Look, I'll show you. Like this, like this. I'll show you what the dropper does. We'll grab a, we'll grab some stuff like this. Fill that in, and say, so it just drops it. Whereas the dispenser, it actually, where is the dispenser right here? Well, the dispenser, oh wait. So basically, the dispenser does everything that a dropper does unless it uses splash. Unless you use like splash potions or other throwable items, stuff that you can throw. Be handy if I find this on torch. So we'll put this in, and it actually shoots it out. Whereas if we get a splash potion, we we'll put it into the dropper. It um, it will just uh, you know, drop it as an item. So you know, I think that's everything. Uh, I'll show you. See, this is the lava lakes and the lakes, and this is you know the customized super fat world, which is really cool. Goes down pretty far, you know, extremely far, like. And these, this is the new skin pack. I'll show you the new skin pack in game. This is what I like about it. So, see hitting, crouching, like that. Okay, I'll show you the other one. It's a creeper one. Creeper is personally my second favorite. Uh, what else? Where's the other one? Where am I going? 2013. I really don't like this one that much. It's pretty cool though, I guess. <laughs> and the last one, 2015. And it's all the exact same with Alex. You know that. You guys know that. You guys know. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is my favorite. So yeah, that has been a brief review. R -r -r review. That that has been a brief review of everything that has been added into Minecraft uh, on the console editions. Pocket Edition, I don't think they're ever going to update that again. Uh, anybody who has Pocket Edition, I would recommend either getting it from PC or uh, consoles. I don't know. You don't have to, but I just recommend. So, yeah, that's that's really just a brief review. I was actually expecting a lot more stuff. As you can see, I made like a craft ton of chests beforehand. And they're not really that filled up. I think, uh, I think they just added in the update due to high demand of an update. And I'm actually pretty glad that they added in this update. Wait, actually, there's some other features. See, I can switch. I'm on survival. Uh, you know, this, all this. I can set my spawn point, so I will spawn right here whenever I die. Um, I can switch to like, adventure, so I can't break anything. I can open chest, though. Uh, we'll go back and create it. I can, you know, day that's like all that. I can set it today. It's on day now. I can set it tonight. It's on night. Day. Uh, peaceful, easy, normal. I can switch that all here. You know, so so this will change the game mode for everybody who's on the world with me. This will just change it just for me. Um, this will set the world spawn so anybody who ever comes on this world will spawn in the exact area I am on right now, except for if I set my own spawn afterwards now. So that's really good for like adventure maps. Um, let's see whether clear. I can change this thunder. Uh, it's not really thundery. <laughs> Rain. Why isn't it rain? What? Game? Are you broken? What the hell? Oh yeah, it doesn't rain here. I mean, it's stupid. Um, so yeah, weather cycle, you can turn that on and off. And I think that's, that's pretty much everything in the update. Um, so yeah. Uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this, this quick little video on everything that has happened in this update. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Sure, you today.